Hi, beautiful people. I'm Queen Shireen. Welcome, welcome back. I'm gonna start with three self-energy clearing breaths. So take your hands, place them, palms up, one on top of the other. Place them at your belly button. You're gonna inhale through the nose. Hold the breath, bring them up over the head. Exhale, down the body and sweep that old stagnant energy back. Okay, place those hands, palms facing upwards, one on top of the other by your belly button. Here we go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale down. Sweep the old energy back. facing up, one on top of the other. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale, sweep the old energy back. <sighs> yes, that's part of a Seikim self-energy clearing. That you can do it anytime you need to bring yourself back to the present. Ground yourself. Release old energy and any stress that you may be feeling okay i'm looking at my flower of life deck it's been calling me so let's pull a message from here trust that you're well. I trust that you are trusting yourself and allowing yourself to feel what you need to feel, acknowledging it, writing it down in your journal, talking to somebody, dancing it out, singing it out, whatever you need to do to tap in. just fell out ever so gently oh. let light in let light in and tarot mm. Mm. let the light in through tarot don't be afraid these are just messages for your highest state of being. They're coming from you. Not any entity that you need to be afraid of. It's just confirming what you already know. Let light in. Sit quietly in front of a window. Feel your breathing slow down as you focus on the breath of life. Gently close your eyes and ask the window, how do I allow light and love to enter my being? Sense the answer as a stirring and illumination of your heart. Feel love and light pouring in as your favorite color. Imagine you fling open the window. A gentle breeze parts the curtain between your inner and outer worlds. Step into the light of your essence. Love, wisdom, and bliss become you. Slowly open your eyes. Look through the window with new eyes. What do you see? Ooh. Ooh. Let the light in. Let the light in. Let love in. Let love rule. All right, here's the tarot message. 
A tarot reading will inspire, give guidance, and create new paths for you. A reading is objective. There is no external authority deciding if you have been good enough to be rewarded or bad enough to have something taken away. For everything in the, in, everything in the outside world is a reflection of the inner. Allow a reading to be what it is, objective material flowing from your higher self to alert you to the truth and essence of you. A reading can show you where your life potential is. However, if you are not willing to make the changes, uh, is that a sign? Be willing to make the changes? Okay. If you are not willing to make the changes that are being shown to you or have brought to or have brought you to have a reading, nothing will change. Each experience gives you the opportunity to move away from fearful thinking. You have the potential to be whomever you want. That's a dragonfly. Come on, joy and inspiration, confirmation. Yes. You have the potential to be whomever you want. You get to choose and re-choose as many times as you like. Have the courage to start anew. Okay, okay. We are just each other's, uh, each other's mirrors, each other's reflections. So I know all these messages are for me too. Okay, I'm gonna pull a card um, from my animal spirit guide deck. I haven't worked with this in a while and it's, it's one of my favorites. So we switching it up. We doing new things. That's what we doing. I turned around, I was trying to give you a view of the river behind. we going with okay thank you for being here with me if you're still here go ahead and like this video spread the love leave a comment share this message with somebody you love somebody you know who might need to hear it today somebody who needs to let the light in animal spirit guides what message do we need to know what messages of wisdom guidance and love unconditional love do we need to know today animals animal it's two we got two again Ooh. Ooh. Oh. okay now, you're overlooking some important details, so pay closer attention to what's going on. A lot of times I pull this card and I automatically think about the negative things lurking. But right now I'm getting that this is about paying attention attention to how far we've come overlooking the details of the work that has been put in to be where you are today okay let me go into the book and read that message pay closer attention to other people's body language how they move their gestures facial expressions and general posture when you focus not only on what individuals are saying but also on their body language you'll find that you have considerably more information that you can use to understand what they're really communicating for body language typically reveals 
Four, body language typically reveals far more about people than what they're verbally expressing. Sit back wherever there are people around and simply observe for a while. Look to see if what others say is congruent with their body language and watch for any discrepancies. In other words, don't always take people at their word. Also, pay closer attention to agreements and contracts right now. Take your time to completely understand any agreement, finding out as much as you can by asking questions and consulting friends and experts to get their advice. Be careful, however, not to get bogged down in too much detail. Walk the fine line between scrutinizing a contract, verbal ones included, for an inordinate amount of time, thus remaining stuck in indecisiveness due to your need to be 100% certain that you've covered everything, and rushing into something impulsively and reflexively based on emotional appeal. So, a fine balance between over-scrutinizing something and acting impulsively. Okay. And... Mm, this this um, advice to seek out friends and experts to consult with and ask questions is confirmed by the second card that came out, Meerkat. Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. Meerkat, so cute. Get support from a group of trusted and like-minded friends. The people in your life would love to offer their support to you. Your only job is to receive it and indeed sometimes even ask for it. So ask for what you need. Those whom you feel closest to and trust the most are the individuals you can rely on to be there for you, especially when you really need it. People who are dealing with dire illnesses have the support of friends and family members usually fare the best. People who are dealing with dire illnesses have the support of friends and family members. However, you certainly don't need to experience such an extreme situation to take advantage of the love and care that others have to offer. Write down a list of the names of people you trust the most and then go back through it and identify three traits in each of these individuals that make you trust them. When you're finished, you'll not only have a good idea of the qualities in those you rely on, but also a clear notion of the characteristics that make a person trustworthy in your eyes. Sure, you've been burned or disappointed at one time or another when you've trusted someone and were let down or betrayed. Everyone has experienced this. So now you may be afraid that if you let others in and count on them for support, something similar will happen. Those memories, consciously or subconsciously, will not only filter out any chance of being disappointed or hurt, but will also serve to keep others who are trustworthy at a distance. Look under that filter and listen to what your gut instinct tells you about a particular individual. How do they match up with the list of characteristics you find trustworthy? Take a chance and let yourself receive love and support. Okay. Okay. That is clear. That is clear. Okay. Pay attention to what is going on. Allow yourself to be loved, helped, and supported. Okay. I hope you find this space as an opportunity to be loved on and supported. I certainly love you and I'm grateful for you being here. And I will see you soon. Love you.